Okay, let us get um, some clarity about what is going on in soul connections. So labels don't matter, you know, I label my readings twin flame readings, but if you're in any kind of soul connection, soulmate, um, you know, whatever you use to describe that, then this reading is for you. So we're going to use my soul connections journey deck and my counterpart messages, both which can be purchased in my shop. And I'm just going to look at, you know, what is going on for you and your person today with this full moon. So let's give these cards a good shuffle. And then I'm going to spread them out and let us get stuck in. I'm actually I'm going to shuffle the counterpart messages as well at the same time and we'll pull them both. Okay, let's make some room here. Right, so let us see what is going on in your person's headspace currently. We have reflection. So this person that you are connecting to is thinking a lot about what they want, um, you know, where they want to be, what they want to have in their life. You know, it is them looking in the mirror really and taking a stock of their situation and deciding, you know, what is their reflection showing them? What is it that they want right now? Um, Cause they're not happy. You know, I do feel like they're not happy right now. And for the message cards, I've got, I've oh, I'm overwhelmed with emotion and need some time. So this person right now is struggling with their reflection, struggling with where they're currently at. There's a lot of emotion in their headspace. Um, and they need some time out to have this period of reflection, which is why, you know, you might feel like there's not a lot of communication or there's not a lot of emotional depth right now. And it's because this person is reflecting, they're healing, they're reflecting. Um, and yeah, they're facing a lot of emotion. So I'm just going to put these cards up here so I can still see them. Let's look at what their heart space is right now. Fear. So the person you are connected to right now is scared. You know, they. I feel like they've probably um, overwhelmed with their emotions, like they've said, you know, and this emotion, it is challenging them heavily um, at this moment. Your touch is like no other. So I feel like they, they know that you have some kind of control over them, some kind of... Um, they feel some kind of emotion that they haven't experienced before. And that is intense and it is scaring them a lot. So they're trying to reflect, they're trying to have this time out to, to think about what they want and to face their fears. Because until these fears are faced, you know, they're not gonna make progress, they're not gonna be able to come towards you. Um, and if this connection is not gonna move forwards, it's like all these fears really do need to be healed first. Let's now look at your headspace. So your headspace, currently we have forgive. So you're probably thinking a lot about um, past situations and just forgiving on a deeper, a deeper layer. You know, you might have forgiven a lot already, but um, you're thinking about maybe past situations, which still, you know, there is some forgiveness needed. The message for this is I visited you last night and held you in my arms. So you could be forgiving through dreams right now and maybe even last night in particular with the intense 11-11 um, portal energies. You could have done a lot of forgiving around that. Maybe a lot of crying, a lot of emotional release and every time you release these emotions you are forgiving. Um, you know You are healing and letting that go. Let's look at your heart space. We have commitment and my heart really aches as I said that so I know how much you are longing for commitment with this person they are at the center of your heart yeah I feel your energy day and night so you feel everything that you know your person is experiencing as well you feel their emotions you feel their fears um, you two mirror, mirror each other so strongly and at the center of your heart you want this commitment with this person but for whatever reason, it's just not happening right now. Um, let us see why it isn't happening. So what are the blocks between you and this person? Codependent. And um, we're going to get a message card as well for this. <laughs> I forgive you. So there is some codependency that needs releasing and forgiving. Um, 
some kind of energy here between you both of maybe both of you have been codependent in the past um but you know right now the big block between you and this person is codependency and you know that needs to be healed before we can have any kind of relationship or commitment here with this person so let us see what advice um you're receiving or any other kind of messages about these blocks we have silence sometimes we need complete silence so that we can heal this codependency because um I will dance with you forever in this life so you know that even in silence and separation you two are connected you're connected throughout you know throughout this lifetime there really is no separation between you both but sometimes there needs to be silence there needs to be periods where you really do have no contact um so that you can you can get clarity so that you can heal and so that you can forgive. And this person is reflecting and facing their fears. So they need silence to do this. And you're both healing this codependency, you know, healing this block of codependency. Um, and that is being healed through no communication. And then we have union. So I do feel like, you know, you two are going to come together. The union here between you both is destined. It's written in the stars. Look, I haven't given up. Your person knows that they want to be with you too, but they need some time. They need some space to heal. And, you know, you need to forgive the past as well. And you need to... Um, you need to trust in this union. I do feel that once this codependency is healed for good, that you two can come together. Let us see what is going on for 3D between you both this week. So let us see. Yeah, we have solitude. So this week is about spending some time apart. It's about being alone, no communication. I'm sorry for every I'm sorry for hurting you. I hope you can forgive me. So your person is facing their emotions, feeling you know, the regret, the guilt, and asking for your forgiveness. So this week, you're both needing to spend time in solitude so that your person can face their fears and so that you can heal, so that you can forgive as well, because there is forgiveness needed here. Maybe there was a painful ending or a painful breakup, and you now need to um, have some time apart to really heal from this, because I just feel like you know, the healing is not complete here. There is still forgiveness that needs to happen. There's still codependency that needs healing as well. And meditate. So there's some important insights coming to you this week through meditation. Um, and as you meditate, you are going to help this connection. Yeah, look away. I'm about to make a move. As you meditate, you're doing a huge amounts of healing and your person is preparing to make a move after this period of solitude it's not going to last forever but there needs to be some kind of silence right now between you both i'm going to see why this silence is needed you know but any other messages about why this silence is needed other than to heal the codependency meet up mm, interesting so there is a silence needed so that you two can arrange a meet up um, a discussion, maybe even over coffee. Um, you are the light in my darkness. So we need this silence so that I feel this person can feel your light because right now things are very dark and uh, for both of you actually and you need to actually not only be the light for each other but you need to be the light for yourself. You know, you need to make sure that you're Focus on yourself enough, loving yourself enough, and not just trying to be the light for your person, but focusing on yourself before them. Because you two are an energetic match. Your connection means that as you feel better, they will feel better. So focus on yourself. And I do feel like with this meetup card, there is going to be communication coming in um, after this energy has passed. Yep, we have the truth. There will be the truth revealed to you once you've had this period of solitude, isolation and silence um, because we have a rebirth in the connection here. So there is definitely truth and clarity coming in, but there's got to be this silence first. And I know that's never pleasant, but this time alone is really going to help heal. With the meditate card, we also have telepathy here. So you can communi communicate telepathically. Um, you know, even when you're in no contact doesn't mean that you 
you can't contact them, you know, it just means you can't physically reach out to them, but you can still send them messages, you can still meditate and connect with them. For this message we have, I am finally ready. So I feel like as you two finally break free of this codependency, because I do feel like that's the last bit now that needs releasing and needs healing, it is this codependent attachment to each other. And a period of solitude is needed for that. You know, and it could be this week, and next week, it could be a couple of days, you know, I don't know how long this is going to take, but I just know that once you've been through this period of solitude, you two will be meeting up again, you will be getting the truth. Um, fantasy here, so I do think with the fantasy card here is that, you know, you need to stay optimistic about the future that you want with this person, but make sure you're not just living in a fantasy world. Um, you know, make sure you are living and you're grounding yourself in reality, you're focusing on your actual life and you're not just focused so much on this connection because that is codependent. The message we have is you push me away physically but I am the one who has your heart. So even if you have been pushed away and rejected by this person or you've pushed them away, know that this is part of the journey, you know, you still have each other's heart, you still have this connection. Um, but you just need to make sure that you really are grounding yourself this week. We have a lot of healing happening in this connection. So we do have um, healing going on for the rest of this week, especially with a full moon. You know, full moons always bring out a lot that needs working through. But, you know, there is a breakthrough coming your way. Um, I just know it. There is a, a big breakthrough coming your way. And after this full moon energy has passed, I do see, you know, really positive things happening. I'm going to get a card for this week. So what is happening between you both just for this week? So this is until Sunday. Avoiding. Avoiding each other, avoiding your healing. I feel like this week, you know, you could very well try and avoid doing what you know you need to do. Um, because you're feeling quite fragile. So this week might be a week of trying to avoid your emotions or maybe even your person avoiding you. But after this week, we have divine timing and we have tests. So after this week, I do feel like there's going to be a lot of progress made here. There's going to be some kind of result that we see in this connection. And the time is going to be right for something to shift, for some kind of breakthrough. But you know, currently, I just feel like solitude is needed. Um, I'm not being guided to use any more of those. So let us just get some Romance Angel cards, some Moonology cards, and then we will end the reading there. That flew out. We have Wedding, the card of Union. So it's like, even though, you know, this week is set to be quite a challenging week, um, I do feel like you, know, you shouldn't give up. You should really trust in this connection because this is a sacred connection. You're already in union in the 5D. You know, you already have that connection. So it's just waiting for it to kind of manifest in the 3D. And, you know, you wait actively by healing, by moving forward, making progress with your life. You know, you can't just sit around and wait for this person to return because that's not how this connection will work. A fiery climax approaches. So let's get another card for this week, please, Spirit. Too many. One more card for this week. Again, too many. So a fiery climax approaches is telling me that there is going to be some action. But at first, there's going to be some healing. Make sure you're not avoiding doing your healing because if you're avoiding it, then your person is avoiding it too and you're both staying stuck in this cycle for longer. Um, there we go. Confidence is your key to success. So you need to trust, you need to have faith, you need to believe in this connection. And um, I do think that something exciting is going to shift this week, actually. In fact, I'm going to go live on Instagram later today to get clarity about what that is. If you don't follow me on Instagram already, then um, you can find me at Twin Flame Guidance 555. I go live as much as I can. And I post daily readings there. Hopefully, this kind of reading has helped. Um, I know it's a little bit different to my normal tarot readings, but it's just what I felt guided to do today. Okay, sending you lots of love and light.